We begin with the political shockwaves that go on after the FBI search of former President Donald Trump's Palm Beach home, Mar-a-Lago. National media reporting the agents were on the hunt for classified documents taken from the White House. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney looked into how serious this could be. He is live tonight right near Mar-a-Lago, which is located right over the Southern Boulevard Bridge on South Ocean. Matt. Shannon Michael, uh, yeah. Quite a scene out here near Mar-a-Lago. In fact, it's quite congested out here along Southern Boulevard, the one road that leads to Mar-a-Lago. A lot of supporters of Donald Trump are out here. There's a lot of media out here. And of course, as you mentioned, a lot of questions about the feds and what exactly it is they were looking for. They have to list where and what and they have to tie it into probable cause that a crime has occurred. Valentine Rodriguez is an experienced attorney who knows about the feds and how they do things. And he says the warrant the FBI had when they came to former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home Monday had a targeted goal in mind after a lot of checking and double checking. You need an insider more than likely, and I'm certain there uh, was an insider or someone who knew specifically where to go because you can't just allege an uh, an affidavit, oh, I want to go search the entire hotel for documents. You'd have to say where at in the hotel, or in this case, Mar-a-Lago. The New York Times reporting the search warrant may be tied to a grand jury looking into classified documents removed from the White House by Trump. The FBI isn't talking about what they may have found. Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg. This is clearly, in my mind, something that involves national security and it must be a willful breach. They're not doing this because of negligence or an accident. They have to believe that the former president willfully removed documents that involve national security. Ehrenberg says outside of the federal authorities involved, the only other person who may have seen the government's case is Donald Trump, who could contend all of this in court. If they really believe that this was a corrupt process, there is a way to challenge it. But I suspect they're going to fight this in the court of public opinion, not a court of law. And legal experts say the key to all this is likely that affidavit which was filed with the search warrant, likely we're told approved by the FBI's top man who was incidentally a President Trump appointee and then signed by a federal judge. That document supposedly we're told details what the government was exactly looking for and how it may connect to any possible crime. And of course that document is sealed up tight right now. We're live near Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.